Hello everybody, welcome again to our channel. Uh, today I will be showing you a gameplay that I have uh, done with uh, Human Builder in the almost famous map called uh, Burbanog. Now in this version of Burbanog, this is uh, 2.34e and this is not the Kerberog map like in the previous videos I have played. Therefore I didn't go random here, I just selected Human because I want to show you my my version of it, my gameplay and how maybe you can uh, uh, win also the games and do a really nice strategy now in this version of uh, Burbanog we see it is a blitz mode but it's not shared money which I don't like, I don't prefer when it's not shared it is really fair play if you uh, select that uh, bounty is shared when the bounty is shared it is uh, it means that uh, on every fourth kill, on every fourth goal, you're sharing to somebody else your money. So it is. It helps a lot uh, if you have another builders uh, and another weak players in or slow builders like poison, uh, priest, uh, holy, or uh, I don't know. There are or magic builder, for example. As we can see, I have here poison builder. Uh, we have also air builder and we have fire builder so let's see how this fire guy play I hope that our uh, communication will be good so we don't have too much any trouble <laughs> of picking same race the reason why I pick human here after I let after I saw what they picked is because of anti magic so we don't have any kind of dispel magic if with those three races none of those three races can build something like that Except maybe uh, fire builder which, which can go into holy and holy have those purifiers and they can dispel but I personally don't like it Because fire should be played with undead and uh, or, And itself only and that's the only thing how you you should proceed with this class and I can build uh, Holy as well, but I have combination uh, of uh, nice energy human and holy and that is uh, holy and grenadier the tower of uh, Can be built by human builder and yes Now in this version also of Burbanog and Kerbenog there is a bug in this map Unfortunately and this bug is that uh, you cannot sell your towers no? so you human cannot sell towers also uh, priest or the holy class cannot sell towers so you there is a way one way to sell them there are actually two ways to sell them or to get rid of them i would say one way is when the siege comes you let the siege destroy your towers <laughs> this is one way and, and another way could be that uh, as i know i never try it that in the last if there is last minion in the in the map rotating or something like that you can uh, click on the tower and then uh, sell it in that last second when he dies so it is really hard it's not easy to to sell a tower i would say so yeah best uh, if you know some other way please comment in in the in the comment section uh, you know, tell me a suggestion or if you know any other way please let me know i would really like to learn it myself now i was not sure should i build here a uh, Canon tower or not, I was like, because the bounty is not shared, it, I might as well uh, build some ground damage. And then I have already, as I see, 25 gold here. And on professional difficulty, since this is professional difficulty, I have 10 lives and I don't know what is the next wave, but I know there is a percentage, there is a slight probability that the next uh, 4, level 4, level 5, level 6 can be an air wave. So I'm saving 60 gold. And I will be build a semi battery from the human builder, which can only hit uh, air wave. And who those who people who don't know, there are two types of waves here in a uh, Burbano map: ground wave and air wave. This will be a ground wave because, as you can see, they're walking on the ground. And uh, air wave, they will be flying. I mean, you will see, you will notice the difference. Also, you can type like press enter and uh, and type minus air and then you will see when are the possible chances of air wave coming from my experience playing for this uh, map and uh, that uh, waves coming and going level at least one of those three levels four five six can be a way air wave and if you don't build good uh, uh, good strategy for them you can really easily lose the game as you can see here i have this common strat two towers on the each side so 
it is nothing special, just I don't wanna overload my base with human towers because I cannot sell them if I wanna build later on some more expensive towers. From example, I will go from human into ice builder. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, air wave came, so I immediately start building sand battery, and this will, this will help me clear the wave a little bit easier. So as I was starting to say, my um, strategy here will be to go from human builder into ice builder into holy builder. And just with these three builders it is more than enough, more than sufficient to proceed. Many people go human ice poison, but I don't like it because then you start lacking of a little bit of ground damage and uh, when the, if the mechanical comes after level 10 you can be in a problem and you can really screw up the game for yourself or for the others so better is going into holy and focusing the dispel and uh, aura generator is also one of the best middle game towers it just gives so much so many uh, points to your um, uh, so many bonuses to your towers and to your hero later on and also it's a really good support that you can build for everybody just really really good uh, tower Anyway, uh, this would be my strategy, uh, so I'm waiting slowly for level 5, so I'll speed up here a little bit, so we go a little bit faster, the waves will be coming and going. Nothing special, I'm saving money and uh, maybe I'll build one, build one more uh, cannon tower that can only hit the ground and its damage type is normal, so there are a lot of medium waves, uh, medium armor type waves, that, are, that can come and I would prefer to uh, hit them strong. As you can see, I built here another arrow tour and I have 66 gold because I don't know will air wave come or a ground wave. Uh, luckily for me and for all of us, it's ground wave, so I don't need to spend 60 gold, I only spend 34 gold, 35 gold, and build another cannon towers enough to damage them and to kill most of the wave that is coming in, in, my, uh, in, my, uh, in my place. Also, for those who don't know, who is new to the channel and so on, there are uh, three waves that are coming from the top. So this will be the first one, now it's the second one coming, and there will be another one after this. If this guy before me kills it, kills it I am fine, I, then it will not come to me, nothing bad happens. And there is the beginning wave that comes from this right side and tries to pass uh, through here. The ones that are coming from the top side, they are rotating uh, around here and they are again proceeding to the left side and going to this guy here so you can pay attention a little bit how somebody how other guys are uh, building are they building good are they building bad for example i can see this guy maybe watched my guide for fire builder i'm hoping he watched it and as you can see he started this three a three four thread as i call it three towers on the each corner and plus around the base, uh, this uh, flaming arrow turret, it's a really good uh, turret for the beginning. As, we, as I told you in the, in the before, it's now this wave is a, uh, armor type is medium, so luckily my cannons are doing extra damage to them, and I'm so good. And yes, as you can see, I went second uh, frost, or ice builder, and uh, I'm building now, I'm just completing again, again this 3-4 strat for myself with ice builder because I want uh, to have a uh, slow and combining with uh, the cannon, uh, cannon tower it's really good. Also something to tell after level 6, so level 7, 8 and 9 there are no air waves so you can only focus on hitting the ground and after level 9, so level 10, 11 there can be an air wave and it can be a strong air wave so I will be now forcing, mostly focusing on building uh, ground damage so I'm saving money for flamethrower and I'm hoping that purple guy uh, will be a good guy and fair play guy and he will build me uh, one flamethrower here on the corner and another flame, uh, flaming uh, flamethrower here on this corner he already started having two flamethrowers so he is clearing this phase really easily as we can see here yeah, he noticed that he made some he had a slight mistake misplacing those towers he corrected he sold them that's that's really good and he's doing some fine damage also he added this three tower here extra this is okay it's, it's, it is everybody has i guess different tactic how to play fire now i'm asking him to build me some flamethrower for me i have my damage setup it, this is more than enough i see many people going fully cannons fully some battery it is unnecessary these cannon towers are 
are okay, but there are better towers. There is no need to waste that much money on them. And just uh, don't do that. I, this is not what I would suggest. I'm building now. Yes, I completed my 3 4 strat, and this is more than enough damage. Maybe I'll just build those control towers here uh, on the in this center here and here one more frost but later on this is just uh, an extension i'm now again think saving for another flaming uh, flaming uh, fl uh, pardon, flaming flamethrower it flamethrower costs 115 gold and uh, it's the one of the best uh, towers for that money and it hits air and ground and it's really just a monstrous tower it's a rapid fire it has short range but it does splash damage and it does so fast damage so you re I really like this tower, it's one of my favorite towers in the game. Some Sometimes it can be a dubious to, to uh, build it, but also you can play without it, it's not a must to build flamethrower. Uh, flame I asked him, him to build me another one, I collected money, so he will now build me another one. I send him money, he comes and builds it. Yes, waves coming and going. Uh, Usually, what I wanna say here for all of you who are playing this, be ready, this can be a long uh, map, so 1 hour and 20 minutes is approximate time that you can uh, finish this map. The, it doesn't matter which class you're playing, uh, there are just so much waves and they uh, need to go 3 times, 4 times around and it takes time, so 40... 40 uh, levels i mean 42 levels in general 40 real levels coming so <laughs> be ready for a long gameplay this is why i'm fast forwarding the video so i can make a video a little bit shorter my aim is not to make one and a half hour video so it is more like going uh, like a guide for you like uh, i want to help developing the strategy and also i would like to hear some uh, commentary and gameplay uh, for, from you also if you know a better strategy you can always suggest it and i can test it out now let's see, as you can see, I started, I built two extra frost arrow turrets here and I built this control uh, arrow turrets here. They are, uh, the space that they are far away from this, it's four. So here is uh, one, two, three and four and also from the top one, two, three and four and they are covering this whole area, which is really nice, you know, I mean for a tango turret it hits uh, nicely and it slows down that target that will slow the other targets before him, so it's really good. Also, I'm building chilling towers, they are also great towers against air, as we can see level 10 air came and uh, we need to have a nice answer for it, so chilling tower doing some fine uh, piercing damage to it and it's just great for, for, for uh, air. And then also these uh, flame towers are uh, splashing them and doing some nice fire damage, damaging all of them, as you can see they don't stand any chance passing me. Now this is the second time they came, of course they will. some of them will pass me, it's not a problem, they are so low, the fire guy can deal with them. But now this, I'm, as you can see, they didn't do that much damage, look how many of them they sent it to me. So this is the way of the purple guy and I'm, I'm barely be able to clean it, clear, clear it without losing any life. I mean I could build more but I didn't want to waste money because I'm saving now for my Nova Shockers. I'm, I have my setup, I have 3 chilling towers, I have 10 gold turrets, I have some uh, the ground damage, I have uh, everything I need and now I'm just saving mode for me. I can build some 10 gold turrets, it will not change that much, uh, to at least to align uh, the incoming wave and uh, to force them to be stuck somewhere here, so I don't have any problem with that. Let's check how the other guys are doing and now it's just saving mode till 360 gold because this is how much Nova Shocker costs. Uh, the other guys are doing fine I would say, he has siege damage and siege damage does extra damage to the fortified type of damage which is great. Yes, Deva takes extra damage from siege, so piercing magic normal and all of other ones doing reduction, reduce damage to them. And he has this firebomb tower, this tower I never built, like never. And I don't like when people build it. Yes, uh, but it's, it's okay. I mean, it's fine. 50 gold tower. I guess you can spend money. He's number one in, in, amongst us. I'm asking them if they want to share the cost for the invis. Not now, but later. Now it's still early. Level in, uh, invis uh, will come. Invisible level will come level 17. And uh, for those who don't, who don't know, there are different types of waves here. So there is siege wave and there is invis wave. And there is this normal ways that are just trying to pass. So invisible first invis level will come on level 17 
and uh, we need just detection they are not hard wave they are more uh, annoying wave you if you don't have detection you can be screwed so you can lose the game really easily and it costs for example my chilling tower has this option to uh, be upgraded to have detection and this detection can be done from freezer this uh, turret here and it costs 100 gold so uh, if you share if all of uh, your uh, teammates share the cost it costs you all in overall 64 5 gold and this is you get a tower that has detection that has slow that has 1000 range two different types of damage what more can you ask for that so this is great now i say 360 i build my first nova shocker that i have as you can see here space for another one and from now on game will be really easy for me i will not have any problem of clearing anyway as we can see i uh, i'm um, waiting for the level 17 so that i can build uh, this uh, purple guy he asked me to build him this chilling tower also who don't know I seeded him chilling tower before I did research, so he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have detection. He needs to seed back the tower to me, and then I need to seed back the tower back to him. But what can occur here is there can be a little bit of um, sort of say a bug again in the map, and uh, it would be nice if the if they clear this bug out. As you can see now, he seeded back to me. It gained this as you can see this eye and uh, it's a problem because he will not be able uh, i cannot sit back so i need to sell it and rebuild it and waste money but if he insisted on having it so fast if he was patient two two three levels more then he would have have it zero problems you know but he was patient he was impatient and i built him earlier so be careful don't lose gold for nothing i mean it's, there is no no need also maybe i'll build for him he doesn't have any detection he can cast fire from foundry but you're wasting 10 gold just to have invis detection you need to cast it three four times and for the same money you can build a tower which should do damage slow and detect so you tell me what is better <laughs> and yes so the waves are coming and going level 14 from now on i don't care which is the next which is the airway which is not because now it can be so random i mean you can check but i don't pay attention i'm just building damage so that i can clear waves and doesn't matter is it a ground or uh, air wave I will have enough damage for both of uh, types of waves coming or levels with kills kill count it's pretty close I'm second but I think I will be the first one by the end of this uh, game because uh, it's not shared and uh, I'm just uh, dealing so much damage so much damage and this still guy is doing a really good job for me because he slows them down and he sends them basically one by one or three or four you know they're coming in the group and i'm doing some splash damage and i'm killing them so basically i'm doing damage to my wave to his wave and he's not able to to clear the red wave so i'm really good now let's see how will i deal as you can see i'm dealing fine fine damage to this mechanical wave and uh, i'm so satisfied where i am this is great i mean two nova shockers doing really fine job and I'm asking them if they can share me some wood, which would be really nice because I can build faster some uh, magic, uh, magic, uh, magic dispel and uh, holy builder and so on. But nobody responds to me because there is no uh, point of him going ice. For example, he didn't need to go ice. He went ice. I could have built him this stuff. He doesn't need to go priest. It would be a waste of wood if he goes priest. And he doesn't need to go even fire, he can build him fire. So he should have went immediately for undead and just go undead poison builder. Like I did in my first video, I don't know if I shared you how to poison builder guy, when you have a fire builder. I will probably sharing when you don't have a fire builder in your gameplay for a poison builder, so stay tuned. Now I took uh, the... What's the name? Uh, I took uh, Holy Builder and I wanna build purifiers as a support tower till the till another wood comes. I need more wood actually to build this uh, aura generator and to build Holy Hand Grenadier. As you can see, another uh, mechanical way, but this type of armor is medium, and I'm doing so nice damage to them. I mean, look, they are all that they barely lived, barely barely. Lived. Now I'm saving money for the roost actually. I didn't build purifiers because I see how I have an, uh, this much money, it's really good for me. I can build roost and prepare much better for siege level 19. 
which siege level means that they will attack your turrets and if you don't have enough damage to clear them fast they can destroy your base really easily i am asking him to build me the dragon roost i have enough money and he will now come and build it there is no problem that is really nice yeah he is walking with his minion i just saw him coming and yeah i'm giving him money and he builds it for me I'm telling him where to build. You can tell your uh, partners where to build by blinking with your uh, with your builder. So it, uh, it really can make life uh, things easy. As you can see, I started building purifiers. Yes, he doesn't have detection because he's he does he forget to cast it. But I'm coming here as a good guy, and because I'm so much in front, I'm I have two times more kills than he has, and I built him this uh, detection ch called Chilling Tower so that he can at least see them and does, don't need to cast the stupid uh, 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 fire from his uh, foundry so really really useful as you can see i'm doing really fine damage to them they don't pass me i'm just uh, annihilating i'm number one with kills and uh, from this game from this now on i will be just dealing uh, creating support towers and they will be monstrous towers the, uh, just for everybody and it will make life easier for everybody as you can see i have three builders and i'm so so fine and so uh, satisfied as you can see airwave comes and i'm just annihilating this airwave for level 18 i'm so good i mean i you cannot be better than this maybe fire can have a, let's say a volcanic fissure but it's not enough uh, let's see how will, can he even clear the wave i know that i will clear the wave they will not even rotate for example i immediately clear but he, he passed it and he is fire. He should be able to clear this wave more faster than I than I. And this proves that now I'm better anti-air system than he is. But unfortunately later on when he starts building uh, fissures, I cannot catch them and yes, he will be better. <laughs> but thank to God we have the air builder, so wind builder, and he has all the all these towers are against air. As you can see, look how he clears this siege. They just dis he just destroys them. I mean, this is unbelievable, nice damage. While I'm struggling a little bit, but I'll be able to clear it, no problem. I have Dragon Roost and and two Nova Shockers. More, what more do I want? He doesn't have anything of these, and he is a little bit suffering. But he has the Flame Storm, uh, Firestorm Caster, which clears the wave. He has two Firestorm Casters for what the reason? I have no clue. It's too much, if it's to me. No need. I want to build here Nova Shocker, but I will cancel it because I want I will build it I will build it here. Here I will have plan for some other type of damage later, because uh, as you can see now I'm mostly doing damage in this kind of uh, rectangle in this passage, and I want to concentrate much more uh, splash damage there. So as much more I'm splashing there, it will be much easier for me to clear. As you can see, this guy went for undead builder, and if he goes for undead. Uh, here kind of guy he can build for me if he's a good guy let's see in the future will he build for me or not but i would suggest that uh, you be fair play and just try to help all of your uh, teammates as much as possible build towers for them if they ask if they ask for it now i have a nice setup i have so here a one flamethrower second flamethrower one purifier second purifier third purifier fourth purifier no problem at all uh, just clearing these ways really nicely. I have Dragon Rules, 3 Noah Shockers, waiting level 20 and now my wood will come. Let's see what he took. Did he took some other builder? Yes, and he, he for example, why? Yeah, and I'm asking him, why did you went for ho uh, Holy Builder when you, you saw that I have it? He says Aura, but I have already my one step ahead of him. And he is like, I don't know, he should have saved that wood and built another volcanic fissure. I mean, it's a waste of wood, right? So, not good. And I'm now, I have saved money and I'm building my aura generator. And what aura generator does, it gives the auras to your towers. As you can see, they start having this plus damage. And it's really, really good. So, yes, I mean, he just says, I don't think you'll use the holy poison I mean. He should have checked it, he should have asked it, I mean, miscommunication, you cannot play alone totally this map, I, it's a gameplay, so don't do this, and yes, these airwaves are really easy for me to clear, no, no, no uh, problem. He says I don't have poison, I like poison, but yes, but if you like poison, ask Teal Guy to build something for you. 
As we can see, Teal went for undead. Okay, he has undead uh, fire uh, uh, synergy. He's misplacing this emulator. It is not good placed. But what I would like to do with uh, with this, uh, I would like to have emulator at my base. Let's see if he will build. I would like to have emulator in these corners. So let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, I receive one number so that I can go immediately with a human one. Uh, with a human builder and build for uh, the tower called Holy Hand Grenadier. That is the best uh, dis uh, dispel tower. So spell this uh, dispel tower because uh, it's doing massive dispel and it's really good. As you can see, he's doing fine damage, but it's not enough. I am now number one with kills, have more than 1000 kills, 1005. Second one is the purple guy, third one is the red guy, and fourth one is the teal guy. Yes, now I'm building my workshop. This is a human builder's uh, house. So I have sanctuary, freezer, and workshop. There is a synergy between a human and uh, and the uh, ice builder that is called seal. So from the ice builder, 350 gold. Anyway, let's see how it will develop. Does he start? Yeah, he already has volcanic fissure. He's really good. He will just clear all the ways from now on. He should just be focusing till the end of just building the volcanic fissure, nothing else. We will see if he will do that. Because he already misplayed by picking uh, Holy Builder. And Holy Builder is, in this particular uh, situation, was unnecessary. So I'm saving for the Holy Hand. And the Holy Hand cost uh, 375 gold. Yes, he sent me now gold, but not for myself. He sent me gold for him to build one uh, aura generator here in the middle so it he will have also bonus aura for his towers and it will improve his towers so much as you can see yeah, let's see yeah, the 25 for damage to volcanic fissure bonus it's immediately better anyway he has now also how much is holy hand i am saying it's 375 probably he will want it again he'll want that tower as well to level 23, we are on the half, I would say, we pass half, a uh, little bit more to come. Let's see, hmm. Yes, I'm building him the Holy Hand, it's a really nice tower, as you can see. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know what this is, it's, it's shining, <laughs> holy. As you can see, look how nice he is clearing and doing the damage to the air wave. And it, even though it's even better, it is medium type of damage and volcanic fissure is normal type of damage. So basically he'll be clearing my wave, zero problem whatsoever. Yes, he doesn't have any problem. Do I clear the... And now I'm starting to struggle with air waves. I don't do the damage as I used to do. But it, I'm doing enough damage or damaging them enough so that the purple guy can clear it. So it's no problem, I mean... I should be now focusing on just doing so much ground damage and this will be my main focus till the end of the map. Now as you can see with my elapsed time it is 51 minutes already in the game and we are still we st just reach I would say half. And now just waves will be a little bit faster, faster to kill but pre be prepared for one at least 1 hour and 10-15 minutes gameplay. When you're playing this map. Yeah, he confirmed the waste of a lumber for Holy. I mean, what to do? The, the, you should have asked, I mean. <laughs> yes, I'm doing fine damage even to, to, uh, to this area, uh, airwaves and it's fine. As you can see, the red guy and teal guy, they don't do anything. They just let them pass. And if there was no me and purple guy, we would lose this game so hard. So, build strategy for air, build a good damage, splash damage just kill these airwaves there will be no problem as you can see he clears the, the his wave and there is no problem about it he is now complaining that like there is no detection for him but actually there is and i don't know why is he summoning these owl scouts it is unnecessary he has a chilling tower uh, and uh, he can have also another detection from me but he doesn't want so it's not my problem also he has a volcanic fissure also he's doing a fine damage really really fine damage i didn't see his gameplay during the game and as you can see he's just making them reds making life easy for teal guy and teal guy is just ruining the game currently he's playing also one of the great class and he's not doing anything special so yeah i'm clearing i'm doing really fine i'm number one with kills and everything when you're playing human builder human builder is 
can be good and can be bad. I mean, a human ultimate tower, the siege tank is... I personally don't like it, but it's a good tower. But it, 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 if you have like four of them, then it's okay. If you have only one, two, it's not sufficient. So you need to have so much of them and to place them ne here nearly. I made a mistake. By building this purifier and I cannot sell it so that I can place that siege tank. So I will see in the end how to do. Level 27 siege came, so it's annoying siege these nagas just yeah they just they forgot even to cast the smoke. <laughs> I don't know why. For example, he uh -huh, he they they're casting at his place, but not enough. He's cleared them. He's he's struggling a little bit, I would say, but he will be able to clear he has this emulator which is Monstrous tower, so no problem. Now I ask him from a purple guy to build me four quake towers. He tells me to wait, so I'll wait. <laughs> Obviously, I must wait. I the reason why I want quake towers is because combining earth with um, ice builder is really good. They does so much damage, and these quake towers should be actually on this corner and not here. But again, because I cannot sell these towers, I need to build them here, and then. I will now uh, redirect my main focus of damage from this uh, line here to all of this line. So I need to extend my main focus. He says that they will be not useful. I say they will be because I will. I'm planning to re to doing to do a different type of a strategy. And uh, yes, he doesn't doesn't know what what my plan is. So I think I'll be able to, again to clear the way of of a teal guy, this uh, uh, destroyer mechanical obsidian statue. And let's see, he does he clear uh, my way? Also, he is not clearing clear uh, my way. So, as you can see, mechanical will be problematic. Like mechanical can be really problematic if you don't have siege type of damage, or at least a tactic. This quake towers, as you can see, is just damaging them really nicely, slowing them. At my place, it's really good. Okay, I, I made them red, and that's all that is sufficient. For example, uh -huh, he didn't even send me the red guy. It's, it's okay, yeah, he has this siege damage, these hur uh, hurlers, but now it's unnecessary to have that much siege damage, ground damage. Level 28 pass, I'm just rebuilding this, uh, ba my base, I'm again this building this threat here, and I build my also holy hand for myself, I have two of them. Unfortunately, I build an aura, another aura generator here, as you can see, I hide it, because this aura generator does not give bonuses to this side and I want to have bonuses let's say on this side and on this side so I need two aura generators building two aura generators is not a problem usually you build one and one is more than enough it's sufficient but two also cannot hurt if you have money so why not I'm able to build it I have so much money and I'm still number one with the kills they cannot catch me and zero problem now I wanna ask Teal for emulator I'm hoping he will build me in later, I'm pointing him where to go, where to come, but he doesn't save anything and this is really not nice, I have money to build it, he doesn't care, so I don't care either, so yeah, what to do, I mean, uh, I will skip him and build something for my own, as I can see that he doesn't uh, build. Again, this guy didn't have detection for the invis and now he's paying the price, he doesn't collect the kills, which he could. And yes, as you can see, I'm doing really fine damage and one-shotting them, just massive splash damage to them. No problem, I have the two dispel towers, so good. Again, I'm asking him for another emulator here on the corner, it would be really nice, please, like I build it for me, but no, no, he doesn't care, he doesn't want. For example, what this red guy is doing, LSR is not nice, I mean, don't do these things, I didn't ask for your owls, I don't want them, I don't need them. I don't want your hero here, don't steal my money, don't steal my kills, I can detect, I have my detection, I have everything. Level 30 came, I used the wood to build uh, the hero, the Jimbo Johnson sniper guy. And uh, it, I like one of, so I can build a human uh, hero, I can build a holy hero or I can build ice hero. Ice hero is good hero to have. But if in these three combinations, I would prefer human hero because human heroes ultimate can go through spell immune guys, and I like that a lot. And also has critical and through aura shot bonus damage, as you can see. This is his aura shot. It's not coming from the aura generator, so I will be just bursting damage with him a lot. And it has a 900 range, and 
just really good hero. I mean, really, really good hero. I like him a lot. Anyway, he left the game, Till left the game and left me all of this, and now I'm going to his place and I'm building Aura Generator and I'm building Holy Hand. Why I'm doing this? Because I can, <laughs> this is the first thing. A second thing is because he has these really good strong towers, and but he doesn't have uh, support there. And I can, sub if, as you can see, I'm basically possessing this corner, so I, why not? I mean, I can build extra damage and you should do the same if you, if some of your... Uh, uh, partners exits or crashes we don't know what happened but i think he exited because he was the last i mean he just has 800 kills and all of us have more than 1000 so i'm building again here the detection for Amis. him is on the level 35 this is a, a spell immune a wave and i fortunately i'm not level 6 with my hero but yeah i i, I will be and there will be no problem as you can see, he is clearing now the waves so easy and so nice because of this support towers and the damage he has. He has really fine damage, by the way, but he didn't use it in a good way, I would say. Level 32 completed, 10 more levels in general. Level 39 and level 40 are the hardest one. 39 is the air wave, level 40 the ground wave. And now mostly they are becoming air waves and siege waves, and this is... This can be annoying a little bit, but again, I'm doing fine damage, slowing down, down them, spreading them so that there is less of them coming, and this guy will just, with his uh, volcanic fissure, can focus these waves and just clear it for the next one. As you can see, he doesn't have any problem clearing my wave. And this is really nice, I, I like this a lot, I mean, it's so, so nice, or at least damages them enough so that the red guy can clear. And I'm doing fine damage, I'm just making them red and clear, killing them, so... No problem, my hero is leveling. Yeah. Let's see what I have the towers. Now I build another ship launcher here. Why not? It's a siege ground damage. Good damage. Here I build another holy hand. I have the aura gen. I have two seal cannons here. This is from the synergy of uh, human and ice. Now I'm asking for a uh, Nova Shocker to build. Let me see where will I build Nova Shocker. Uh, I will, I'm building here Nova Shocker because I, as you can see I built here also the setup. He can slow down the wave, he can kill really fast the wave here and it's really good setup to have. Poison and Ice combo is one of the best combos in the game, especially in the mid game or in the beginning you just slow them in a spot and they don't move without any spell, just two towers, Poison and, and, and uh, Ice. His hero is doing also fine damage, this Katris Star Song. I don't like personally this hero and it's okay, I mean. No need for him, but okay, I mean, uh, I would prefer what, yeah, okay. Maybe it's okay because he's air and he can kill faster airways, so no problem. I rebuild again here, uh, till level 35 in this comes, again he doesn't have detection, okay, he built the detection. He sent owls to me, but he doesn't have at his place. And as you can see how nicely I'm clearing ground. I'm doing fine damage to the ground, no problem. Uh, just yeah, sending so less to, to the purple guy. Or at least red. And yes, this is on the way. As you can see, also this guy did a fine damage. This guy uh, on the top is doing really, really fine damage. Because he has uh, magic dispel, he has slow towers, he has uh, support tower from me, and uh, casters, and roosts, uh, emulation towers. Really, really nice. As you can see, I'm building even more. Preparing him for the level, uh, for the last level. I build also to him some Nova Shocker so he can slow down. We are preparing for the uh, last siege on the level 37. And let's see how. Yes, I'm building here now my ultimate, the siege tank. And yes, I, I got the wooden last wooden level 35. I mean, it is fine. I don't know where else to use it. I could have gave it to also to the purple guy so he can build another volcanic fissure, but. I wanna do my damage, I wanna do my thing, so let's see how it will go. I don't have so many of so many their towers, I only have uh, flame throwers from them and I don't know and one uh, root dragon roost. The other all other towers are my towers. Okay, I have this also I forgot these quake towers, but this is just basic towers, so I didn't ask for any advanced towers that much. Anyway, I'm just Preparing, building, uh, building this crystal shine is also good for the siege. I mean, holy builder has the best anti-siege strategy with a fire builder also, and this uh, shine will help me so they will uh, focus my uh, my uh, shine to attack and not other towers. But because there are so many of them, they cannot go immediately all of them to shine, so they're spreading. 
and this is the most hardest siege on the level 37 these dragon turtles because they are uh, immune spell immune and they have endurance aura as you can see he has an increased movement speed and attack rate but again my hero is uh, with he, my uh, ultimate is going through his spell immune which is good and i'm doing fine damage they, at least they will not be able to kill my expensive towers cheap towers i don't care that much they can they can kill them I, I, it's fine fire fire guy uh, cleared the way much faster than anybody else and also this guy cleared the way really nicely so no problem only me left and i cleared level 37 pass three four levels more to come now i'm building another nova shocker because i want to slow them yeah, it's just passing time as you can see air waves now just 38 39 air waves this is be prepared for that and for a good strategy against air and they are usually spell immune and uh, yes yeah, hard hard air i would say hard air but as you can see i have enough splash damage and enough damage and i just really make them green and uh, not green uh, that this guy can one shot them and can clear them as you can see it's just dying so fast and uh, yes and also th this corner here has as i said decent damage it's like he's here he's still here he's doing his part because i build it for him and yes so all so far so good last air wave and again a uh, spell immune this phoenix are so strong 15k health i mean <laughs> what more do you want right anyway let's see uh, he says it's a hard air far but he still will he still clears my way look at this i mean hard wave but he kills it <laughs> and i don't do that much damage like he does so i wouldn't say it's a hard wave for him hard wave for me maybe but for for the purple guy for fire guy no anyway let's see how this progresses everything is going fine i also so this means i clear the wave of uh of the red guy no this is the red guy's wave no yes and i clear it and uh, yeah it's just going fast and now the last wave let me slow down here for the last wave a little bit maybe you can see have a better overview of my uh, st towers and strategy as you can see i just now focus maximum on ship launch i want ground damage as much possible uh, and uh, once ship launcher two three four ship launchers i have seals nova shockers uh all kind of damage just i want to damage them as much possible i don't have unfortunately here any tactic i mean i have tactic i would say with these quake towers to slow them like this and then just deal them damage and if these quake towers were let's say here that would be perfect but still it's not a problem and also what happened i will show you later i will upload one game where i had this last wave same like this anti-magic shell as you can see anti-magic shell but I will lost because we didn't have this spell and now I have my holy hand grenadier and it's dispelling them and therefore my quake towers can slow them so even though this wave is not strong as the previous as the, as the unknowns that can come other unknowns uh, woman and uh, kid but uh, also uh, they can be tricky because they have anti-magic shell and if you don't have this kind of uh, I would say uh, anti and this spell for them then you can be in a, in, a, uh, in trouble and it will be a problem your spell towers will not do anything and you will have good really good spell towers so i'm doing fine job job for all of us as you can see i'm really in this conjunction here i'm annihilating them doing making red all of them so <laughs> and dispelling all of their magic shells because i have one two uh, three holy hands and they're doing mass dispel this holy hand grenadier towers it's really really good and yes i mean this would be all now we basically win the game and also my hero with his ultimate he is uh, going uh, he's piercing through there also uh, with uh, his ultimate poison that which does like 10,000 damage he can do i don't know so many damage so much damage also i'm building this ice tower so i can even slow them if some of them passes but none of them passes and there is no problem all of them are going to the purple guy and they're so low that he just needs to hit them a couple of times and that's it so even now because they don't have uh, that stuff his quake towers are doing good damage and also his fire star caster can do, that, can do damage otherwise they couldn't do anything so i say here gg boys because yeah we win the game 
actually we won the game this is level 40 the most hardest wave what is this guy doing he's trolling yeah he's trolling <laughs> no problem so even without a tactic decent tactic you can win the game but what you need to do at least have some slow and splash 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 damage so much ground damage this is the only way that you can win so that's all now the level 40 i can speed up level 41 will come this is uh, called uh, test damage wave it is nothing special just yeah you are trying to do as much possible damage to this guy called uh, damage test <laughs> and we will see who will done do the most damage at the end let me see I'm, i even spend my ultimate for him just i wanna do as much possible damage so let's see who will have the most damage Yes, the most damage done is by me, 99,100k damage and uh, then comes the purple corner, then the red corner, then the teal so the red and teal are really, are really close, even though the teal left <laughs> but with this nice tactic with ice and poison and emulation towers and support towers he doing really fine last siege and that would be all, I would clear this last siege really easily, zero, zero problems uh, also this guy is helping me to clear my own siege, I mean, he's stealing cash from me, but it's fine, I mean, it's, it is, okay, I'm building now here for fun some poison towers, there is no need for them, I mean, you basically now win the game, so, you won the game. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial, uh, this uh, guide of uh, human builder for you, there are very, as I said, there are various ways of building. Uh, of going through the game with human you can go poison also it's no problem but i like this more because in this kind of particular uh, party game party there was no dispel and i needed to go holy and support all of them so hope you enjoy it please like our video share uh, share it uh, watch it till the end uh, uh, subscribe to our channel uh, help us grow we will do really we are having really nice plans in the future and uh, if you wanna contact uh, me or play with me on the uh, on the server on the blizzard add me it's gene hazard uh, hashtag uh, 2575 find me and uh, we can play together also but you know i can help you maybe we can develop also some tactics and have some nice chilling games so mm, see how the how much do you like enjoying playing the Warcraft uh, 3 uh, Reforged. So I like also these old style menus and not the new style new new uh, new Reforged. I like the old one because it helps me about the towers. I'm so much used to it. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is it. As you can see, he says die Jimu, but Jimu doesn't do not die. Now just some things for fun and yeah. That's all. Total time of the game is 125, but the video is probably like 40-50 minutes. So. Yeah, it, it saved us half an hour. Hope you enjoy it and uh, stay tuned uh, and I wish you all the best. Bye bye.